So it's Friday night. Just had our last supper. Now we're having the finisher. Oreo milkshake from Dairy Queen. Last cheat meal. Last junk food for five weeks. We're starting our national prep tomorrow. Intense diet, exercise, and training. And this is my accountability team. We got this. Team Quadfather. So cheers to that. It's go time. All right, what's up everybody? Charlie just wanted to be in my video. So, it is Sunday. We are just less than five weeks out from Canadian Nationals. You just completed what I would consider a three week binge. I want to call it a reverse diet, but it was a binge. I was exhausted from all my prep for BCs, so um, we ate everything we wanted to eat for eight weeks. We ate it all in three weeks. Anyways, um, I rebounded pretty good after the show, gained like 30 pounds in a couple days, but a lot of it was water from eating all the salt and all the high carb foods. Um, my legs and my ankles and stuff swelled up like crazy and it was nuts, but um, after a few days I dropped all that water again and then I, I settled around 220 pounds, but um, you have to understand a lot of that 220 pounds is what they call digestive weight. So a lot of it is just like you're accumulating like a backlog of calories and food in your gut. So basically for eight, 10 weeks when I was prepping for BCs, my stomach was always empty. And when you're eating a nice healthy serving of food consistently all day, you're gonna keep a backlog of food in your gut. So um, I dropped all the junk uh, the other day and yesterday was my first full day of uh, clean eating and dieting. And uh, I expect I've probably dropped um, a couple pounds of just food by getting back on the clean eating diet. So today we're gonna to kind of take our baselines for uh, Canadian Nationals. We're gonna do our skin fold and um, weigh in really quick here and see where we're at. Um, I don't think I've done too much damage. I'd say um, body fat wise, I'm pretty close to where I was five weeks up from BC. So um, the next five weeks, we're not gonna be doing any cheats. We're gonna keep it really clean and um, hopefully we can um, bring it in tight. Oh. All right, well, we're still 222 pounds. As you can see, we're still a little bit thicker front to back. We still got some food in there. So it might take a week, we'll probably just like 10 pounds this week if we get back on the fat burners and keep it clean. Anyways, our skin fold is about six and a half millimeters. Yeah. Just under seven millimeters. I don't want to measure. Anyway, yeah. so. I want to say that's where I was about five weeks out from my last show. It might have been more like six weeks out. So we might be a week or two behind, but um, we're not going to be doing any cheat meals for the next five weeks. We're going to keep it really clean. Calories are low. I've basically like screenshotted my diet plan and I've made it the background on my phone. So if there's any of your questions, I'm not eating crap thinking or guessing. Uh, I've got to take all the thinking and guessing out. And uh, we're going to keep it really tight. And hopefully me and Charlie here can... Get some hardware. What do you say, Charlie? All right, what's happening? We're back in the prep mode. We got some good stuff going on here. Got our chicken breast ready to go in the oven. Well, they're not ready. Still gotta put some stuff on them. What do we got? I think this is what we're using. Yeah, Montreal chicken. It's legit. We're still five weeks out, so I think there's some sodium in there, but we'll be alright. We got our. Rice percolating over there. We got fat stacked broccoli. And what else did we get at the grocery store today? Within the supplement cupboard. We got lots of calorie free sweeteners. And what's the prep without new shoes and new underwear?